Bioshock is a first-person shooter role-playing game set in the unnerving city of Rapture, an underwater city built by Andrew Ryan. The game was developed by 2K. The role-playing element gives the player different ways they can interact with the game by using choices such as saving, killing characters. It also hints at the survival horror genre game. The horror is only shown in environments giving it a horror feel, however the, the genre conventions still apply. Bioshock Infinite, on the other hand, is the third game in the franchise and is developed and produced by the same company. It is set in the year 1912 and follows the story of the protagonist, Brooke DeWitt, who is summoned to the floating air city of Columbia in search for a girl. This game differs from previous two games in the series, however it all connects towards the end. The survival horror is not as obvious, but at certain aspects of the game, the horror conventions are hinted. It is clear that Infinite and Bioshock have their share of similarities and differences. Bioshock's environment has more horror conventions rather than Infinite. It is a dark displeasing and can make the player very uneasy. This is done by the score, sound effects and horrifying sophisticated settings. With Infinite, this is the opposite, the settings are aesthetically beautiful. Rather than the eerie, creepy environments, Infinite uses bright, friendly, warm feelings to make the player feel comfortable and welcome. However, this is very misleading, as once the player gets into the story, they will learn the hidden aspects of horror and how it's completely opposite of safe and friendly. The opening scenes for each game do follow each other in similar ways to introduce the setting where the players will be roaming around. The opening of Bioshock starts off from a plane crash in the sea. The atmosphere appears sinister and the location is isolated. It is set in the eyes of the player, so it is like their experiences themselves. It is a dramatic opening as the movement of the screen is frantic to show the state of panic. It uses a point of view shot to sh see the world from the character's eyes, so it's like the player is there in the game. The only things illuminating the setting is the burning plane, the moon and the lighthouse. This is low-key lightning so it creates shadows. There is a dark feel to it and makes the player feel like they are in a dangerous situation. Whereas with Infinite, the same lighthouse and sea area are introduced in a negative way. The weather conditions are dark and dismal. It creates another dangerous feel as the weather sets the mood for the game. The storm and the mist create an eerie feel to the setting and can make the player feel uneasy. This uses the same low-key lightning to set the mood. To introduce the main gameplay settings, both games use a method of transport to show off an environment. For Bioshock, the transportation is in a submarine, and for Infinite, it's a lift. This lift sequence uses a very tense leader with the, with the dramatic music. It is uneasy as the setting is all closed in, showing isolation and being trapped. Three, two, one. It is a lead up to show something bad is about to happen. There is a countdown that could indicate countdown to danger. Feet. The more it counts down, the more suspense there is. It is fast paced editing. The disturbing sounds type make this scene in Bioshock more frightful, such as ambient sounds, mechanical sounds, and bells ringing. The no, slow no. tension to build up. This is to convey the character's emotions. He is showing his, his panic state, such as shortness of breath and signs of struggle. Lightning is expressive as the light flickers dramatically. It can cause distress, which helps to set the mood in horror genre games. However, the twist is to come when the lift arrives at its destination. The struggle is over and the music turns relaxing and peaceful. <coughs> the mood changes completely to show a surreal, beautiful floating city. This breaks the code and conventions of the horror genre as it's not expected. Non diegetic sounds of the creak and lift are still heard to still imply the tense feature. After being introduced to Infinite Opening, it still hints at the disturbed horror storyline. When Booker is put underwater, it fades to a flashback. All the audience can hear is the knocking as the screen fades in. An unknown voice can be heard calling names and giving orders. It sounds distorted and threatening. What do you want? For the Bioshock opening, the character has to use a submarine lift to tr transport to Rapture. There is a limited vision as the character descends into the sea depths. There is only small amounts of visuals. The only thing visible is a small window looking out to the world. Similarly to Infinite, it uses isolated settings such as closed space to build up tension. The ambient sounds of eerie echoes underwater are the only sounds that can be heard when travelling down. It gives an unsettling feel. The more it descends into darkness, the more tense it feels as it builds up tension and hints towards a jump scare. However, once at the area, the low lightning 
able to show the city it's still a tense scene due to the dramatic low-key lightning as it casts shadows of the buildings the high-pitched violin score in the background helps to take this real strange setting as it's something out of this world and with the sweat of your brow the colors are dim and hard to see due to the water lightning can be motivated to brighten up areas such as the neon flickering lights once introduced to the setting, the gameplay starts as there's an excessive use of darkness. It's hard to tell what's going on. The iconography is what makes the sea follow the code of conventions. The dark colours show danger and unsafeness. The background sounds are dramatic and eerie, making the player uneasy. The flickering low light shows small areas of the scene for a split second. The player uses the point of view shot to look for his surroundings, the editing creates unsettling tension which suspense that the player hearts racing. It gets distorted with blue flashing lights and screaming to send the player over ease. There are various types of themes that follow the horror codes of convention dramas, such as the characters, the hero, villain, creepy children, and the fighters. The horror themes will be good versus evil, science gone bad, and supernatural. Overall, both games follow the code and conventions of the horror drama and share very similar ways to do so, even if the games don't seem to connect and have different style of beauty.